Because I got to say something else first. I heard that uh, you know last week we were talking about that fictitious Kiss My Ass Club. Who would I want to join my Kiss My Ass Club, right? Yep. And of course, one of the people I mentioned was that fat, no good, human waterbed blowhard piece of shit, gutless wonder coward Mark Madden from Pittsburgh. The scourge of Pittsburgh, who's been fired for making tasteless comments from every broadcast job he's, he's ever had. And, uh, it, well, I, I tell a lie. He didn't get fired from WCW because he sucked Eric Bischoff's dick to get a fucking job and then proceeded to turn on every friend he'd ever had and knock him and lie about him. I was one of those people. He's a liar. You couldn't believe him if his tongue was notarized. He thinks he's a big deal. He's a fat, ugly, useless lived at home with his mother until he was 40 years old. Uh, I don't even know what adjectives to describe this guy, but I want to show you, I want to illustrate and tell a true story about what a scourge, what a coward, what a gutless piece of shit that Mark Madden is. And Mark Madden, if you're, uh, if you're listening, I know you are because you responded. I don't even know what you said, but you started knocking me again. You haven't learned anything after 15 years. You don't know when to leave well enough alone. So anyway, I don't know what he said about me. I don't care because everybody knows that he's just a diarrhea mouth punk. But <laughs> I want to tell you, I want to illustrate what kind of person Mark Madden is. Oh, back about 10 years ago when Brian Hildebrand, Mark Curtis, was sick and had had his problems with cancer and he had a lot of medical bills, a lot of his friends got together up in Ross Traver, Pennsylvania, right outside of Pittsburgh, to do a show for him. Everybody worked for free, of course, to help raise money for his medical bills. And I learned the night before that Mark Madden was going to be there. And Mark Madden had already lied about me and, 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 and tried to cause me trouble with Smoky Mountain Wrestling and tried to cause me trouble with the wrestlers, lying, saying that I owed Tom Pritchard and Jimmy Del Rey money when I didn't, and all these other things, trying to get over with his boss, his suck-up buddy Eric Bischoff. And so I found out Madden was going to be there, and I called the guy that was promoting the show, Cody Michaels, and I said, Cody, I said, this is not the time or place for me to have this problem. Mark Madden's going to be in the building. If he is, I'm going to beat his brains out. I may not be able to whip many people in professional wrestling, but he's one of them that I can, and I'm going to murder him. I'm going to murder him if I see him. So I, I'm going to bow out. I'll send the check whatever I need to do to help Brian out, but I don't want to screw up his day and his show. And Cody pleaded with me. He said, please, it's important you be there. We, he's going to do a radio remote for us. It's going to help draw for the show. I will keep him in a room. You will never see him. Because i got the same problem with Bruno Sammartino, because Bruno hates the punk too. And so you'll never see him, please. So I'll think about it. Call me in the morning. So in the meantime... Mark Madden hears about what's going on, and he actually, this no good excuse for a human being, actually told Cody Michaels, if Jim Cornette beats me up, then I'm going to sue you, and I'm going to take the money from the gate from the show that was going to pay Brian Hildebrand's medical bills, a guy with cancer, a guy that had more guts and more decency in his little finger than Mark Madden's ever had in his whole fat cottage cheese ridden stretch mark body and he told Cody Michaels he was going to take the money from the show if I beat him up like he knew I was going to wow. and the whole time that we were in that building together he hid in a room and the one time the one time that he left that room I'm standing out back talking to Bruno Sammartino and all of a sudden T. Rantula the big biker guy one of the top guys there in, in Pittsburgh at the time comes up and says, hey, Jim, and grabs me around the shoulder and turned me and Bruno around to talk to us in this big, important conversation. And I'm like, hey, T, it's nice to see you. What's going on? He said, nothing now. Come to find out, while Bruno and I were talking, he had seen Mark Madden walking inside the building about to come out the back door and didn't want me and Bruno to see him because we would have a double knockout trying to beat the fuck out of the asshole. And when Mark Madden came around the corner and saw us standing there, he spun on his big fat heels and he ran, skipping like a little girl, all the way back to his little room where he was doing his radio remote, never to be seen again. So Mark Madden, let me tell you one thing, you fucking piece of shit. You lied about me 15 years ago. I was your friend. I drove you. I drove you and bought you fucking Wendy's, you fat cow. 
to my Smoky Mountain Wrestling shows, used to call me every month and talk about how everybody else in the wrestling business was so crooked and so disgusting, but I like you, Jim, and as soon as you got a job with that no good piece of shit Eric Bischoff, you started getting on the fucking hotline and knocking all of your ex-friends and lying about them just to have that job because it's always been your dream to be somebody, even though you never have been able to. It's always been your dream to be a personality even though you have none. You're a liar, you're a sack of shit, you're a coward, and Mark Madden, if you want to debate me, brother, I know that Joey Styles, he didn't have the guts and probably Vince wouldn't let him anyway, but if you want to debate me, Mark Madden, with no holes barred and no language barred, you get your big fat ass, your big fat corpulent cottage cheese ass on who's slamming who, and I'll debate you till the cows come home, because everything that comes out of your mouth is a stinking lie, so fuck you, Mark Madden, and the six horses that your fat ass rode in on. <laughs> 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 